As Lucille Festival is always in the summer, I, 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 can I can remember that it was somehow, yeah, it was a, like a magical feeling to be on the one hand in the beautiful uh, Vierwaldstätter See in Lucerne, in this beautiful spot, and feeling being in summer and then uh, entering the stage in the KKL um, and facing this very deep music. And for me, I was, I have to say, I was, I was lucky to play at the Mozart Requiem for the first time in my life. So it was a very nice first concert. And um, I mean, there are so many thoughts connected to this piece when you listen to it um, all the years before, all your life. And it was a real magic moment, uh, the entrance, the beginning of the piece when the bassoon is, um, is beginning to play and filling this beautiful hall with Claudio. And uh, I remember that uh, the, the light was a little bit um, dimmed. It was a loud light on, on stage. Yeah, I, uh, a moment I will never forget. I think he knew exactly who to pick to integrate in his orchestra. So um, one of the main things I really found special about working with Claudio Abado was that he gathered people, like-minded people, who share the same idea of making music, of the essence of making music, to listen to each other, to search for the deep meaning of the score, and um, to share moments, musical moments, with, with people who consider to be friends, and uh, musical friends, but also like real friends in the, in the time uh, beside rehearsing. And he set some seat in us, they're willing to make music, and. Uh, in a very particular way and from then on you never wanted to make music in another way and you keep on searching people who share the same idea and what was special it, i think it was the combination of listening to each other never um, block an idea to grow um, and to um, have the pure freedom by understanding while understanding that there is a path uh, which is led by himself. Actually, I, I have two memories, personal memories, um, with, I associate with Claudio Abado. The one is, there was one occasion I was forced to come late uh, on stage for rehearsing because there was a, like a medical emergency and we went to hospital and um, so he allowed us to come late. So there was a moment we had to wait backstage and in KKL you can see um, through the window um, the, what is going on on stage. And normally you just check um, yeah, who is on stage and uh, like the music and then uh, you know when, when you can enter. But I remember that I was um, looking at him and I couldn't just, just, just uh, turn around. I, I had to keep on looking at him how he is um, dragging the attention of everyone by his arms, his hands, his, his, his um, looking. And that was very touching. It was the unfinished um, of Schubert. And as we know, it was a very late concert in Lucerne. And uh, yeah, this I will never forget. Um, watching him dragging the attention of all the musicians. Another a little bit more funny um, personal memory is um, Claudio Abado, he, he loved chocolate. And there was one, um, one, one day he was asking me to come uh, to his, uh, his office. We were uh, talking about some, some stuff about the rehearsals. And, um, and then he was offering me chocolate. And uh, he, he told me, yeah, the uh, very important thing about Swiss chocolate is that it, uh, you have to always double check in the mirror if you have still chocolate in the uh, between the teeth. <laughs> I, I found it so, so 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 funny because at that moment I was I was so young and I was um, thinking ah uh, Claudio Abado is now telling me something really really important about music and whatever and then he gave me this very daily and very uh, lovely advice. <laughs> I will never forget that also. I think for everybody of us who have the honor to, to, to be part of this idea of this dream, is, it is a highlight of the season. Everybody 
is already a month before the summer, before August, uh, before it's, it's starting, is already very happy and um, looking forward um, to see each other again and also to, to make this kind of music, this way of music, to share this idea again. So for me, it's the ideal version of orchestra playing. And um, it's a dream to, to have the occasion to play with all those musicians together. And um, yeah, it's, I, 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 can, I, I remember always when we, um, after the last concert, there's a big farewell party, you say bye-bye, see you next time. And then it's still uh, nice to know that the concert tour is happening in, the, in autumn, so it's not a real farewell. You know, yeah, after a couple of weeks, we meet again. But after the tour, it's very hard to say goodbye because, you know, we have to wait quite a long time to, to meet each other again. I think this is very, very strong in Lucerne. Also in Orchestra Mozart and in Mahler Chamber Orchestra, this idea, this seat, which was set by himself, um, is very strong. You can see it. In, in the faces and the eyes of the musicians that they always want to, to realize this idea and to, to search for, for his presence um, somewhere. I think everybody from, from us um, has all these memories of the KKRL concerts with the Mahler symphonies. And we all, I think we all share the same willing to, 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 uh, to, to find these moments again on this particular uh, stage. Um, so I can, I, I would say, yes, of course, and like in every moment, in every bar, in every uh, note of any symphony we play in this orchestra, in the Lucerne Festival Orchestra, the, 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 the need of, um, of having him present on stage is very strong. <laughs> 